All right, guys, today we're talking about constructions, which is really just ways to copy something or to make something um, with your only tools being a straight edge and a compass. Um, so we'll start out easy and get progressively a little bit harder. And in the future, in other units, we'll kind of sprinkle these in within the unit. But since it's the first time we've ever done constructions, we're doing kind of its own little mini unit right after GeoBasics of the most basic constructions we can do. So concept one, um, to make formal geometric constructions. So the first one we're going to talk about today is copying a segment. So we're going to do, if you see these are labeled one, we're going to do one through four today um, in our notes. So copying a segment. So given a, the steps are here right above. It says given a segment and array, using your compass, place the pointer at point A and extend until it reaches point B. That way your compass now has the distance of that line segment. Um, then you'll put your pointer at a prime. So we are making, we're taking segment AB and we're turning it into what we call A prime B prime. So those little apostrophes we read as prime out loud. Um, so we're trying to copy this segment onto the ray. Um, so again, like they mentioned, we need a compass. So we're going to put our pointer on part A and then we're going to stretch it so that it's the length from A to B. Um, and now that this has my distance, I'm not going to move it at all. I'm not going to stretch it or shrink it anymore. I'm just going to pick it up and put it on my A prime. And now I can make an arc is what we call them because all the way around would be a circle. Any piece of a circle we would call an arc. And now I'm going to go ahead and extend this ray here. It should have been a little longer. Now if I put a point on this ray right here, that's our B prime, and now this is the same length. A prime to B prime is the same length as A to B. So that's how we would copy a line segment using just a compass. So what vocabulary words correlate with this construction? So I would say um, congruent. Um, let's go ahead and add these in here. make my font smaller. Congruent, which means they have the same measure. And then segment, line segment is a piece of a line. And then the last one I would include is array. Um, so a an endpoint with a let's do a part of a line with an endpoint and a side that is infinite. Okay, so let's move on to number two now. So number two, copy an angle. So given an angle and array, so here's our angle and our ray, um, and our original is A, and our new um, image is what we call it, has A prime. Um, it says create an arc of any size such that it intersects both rays of the angle. So with our compass, I'm going to make this a little wider here, um, but it can be any length. You just want to make sure when you draw it, it will intersect both, okay? Create the same arc on our A prime. So I'm going to scoot this over. Don't make it any wider when you move it, and I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, and I'm going to make it a little bigger just because I want to triple be sure that um, it's big enough for my other segment here. Place your compass. Okay, so we've done this part. Label those points. Create an arc of any size that intersects both rays at the angle. Label those B and C. Create the same arc. Um, the intersection with the ray is B prime. So what we've done so far are parts A, B, and C here. So this would be point B and we just made B prime, and now we're gonna have to figure out how to make C. 
So right here on step D, place your compass at point B and measure the distance from B to C. So let's do that. Point B, I'm going to have to change my angle here. And I want this to touch B and C. So it might be a little bit easier with yours than my digital one, but we want them to line up. All right, so that would look like that, where they're right on each other. Place your compass at point B and measure the distance from B to C. We did that. Use that distance to make an arc from B prime. Um, so from B prime here, again, you don't want to change your distance at all. I'm going to draw an arc, and where they intersect right here, that's my C prime. Okay, so my last step would be to draw a ray with a straight edge um, to connect A prime and C prime, and then I'm finished. So I'm going to draw my ray here from A prime to C prime, and now I've copied that angle without using a protractor. Okay, so vocabulary words that correlate here, we used um, ray again. So we won't redefine it. We used ray, um, we used angle, we used um, intersect, which is where they cross. Um, I think that's about it, though. Bisect a segment. So we learned in our GeoBasics unit that bisecting means that we're dividing something into two equal pieces. So we're trying to find the very middle. So here, step A says, given A and B, place your pointer at A and extend your compass so that the distance exceeds halfway, so more than halfway. So let's drag this down here. Okay, so I want this to be more than half, but anywhere more than half should work. Okay, and I'm going to make an arc. Label, without changing your compass measurement, so don't change it at all, place your, part, your point at B and create the same arc. So I'm just going to flip this around, but I haven't made it any bigger or smaller. And now I'm going to make the same arc here. And actually, I didn't make my first arc big enough, so you want to make sure they are. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it back and make my first one bigger. Okay. And now you can see these two have intersected. It wants us to label those C and D. And if I use my straight edge to connect those, now I have a um, segment bisector. So right here, if I can get those lined up correct, there we go, that's better. Um, that is my segment bisector. So right here, if I put a point here, that would be my midpoint. But this line does what we call bisecting the um, line segment AB. Um, making these two equal congruent pieces now. So some things vocab we've used on this section is um, bisect, divide into two equal halves. That's our newest one. Um, we also did midpoint, which we've defined before. We were working with a line segment, an arc, um, an intersect. Those are all vocabulary that may be new to you that we've been using. All right, one more for today. Bisect an angle. So we've bisected a segment. Now we'll bisect an angle. It says, given an angle, create an arc of any size so that it intersects both rays of the angle. Label those B and C. So similar to how we started by copying the angle. Okay. So any size, make an arc. Label those points B and C, and it shouldn't matter which one is which, but we'll do B and C like this. And then it says, leaving the compass the same measurement, place your pointer on point B and create an arc in the interior of the angle. Do the same as step C, but for point C. Okay, so I haven't changed the width at all, but I'm going to take my pointy in and put it on point B to create an arc. 
and then I'm going to put it on point C to make an arc. And wherever they cross, that's going to be our point D here. And if I draw a ray through AD, this is going to be my angle bisector, which means I have perfectly divided this angle into two pieces. Um, so now A, C, A, D, and D, A, B are the same measure. Okay, so if we're talking about vocab for this one, we could say bisect again. We just um, defined that. Um, we did angle. We have array. Um, all of those are valid. Um, we've talked about congruent again. We would have two congruent angles. We just want you to keep coming back to that vocabulary. So that's it for today. We've done one through four, and now you're going to work on worksheet one for constructions, um, and then we'll come back and do some more on day three.